Hi everyone, Chris here, science faculty from Stewart Outdoor School in Ivoryton, Connecticut. I think the thing that I like the most about working at Stewart is our ability to recognize unique learning opportunities outside the classroom and then have the flexibility to get out into the wild and actually utilize them. Uh, that's exactly what we've done today to take a look at an observable natural phenomenon happening, something that is kind of rare for us around here, especially this early in the season, and that's this really large ice dam behind me. Uh, so what's going on to give you a little perspective? About a week ago, there were some really warm temperatures and a lot of rain. And what that did was break up a lot of the ice on the top of the Connecticut River and some of its tributaries. And all of that started flowing downstream heading towards us. And about two miles south is the Haddam Swing Bridge. It's a man-made bridge. A lot of the ice has started to get built up on the structures, the supports of the bridge, and caused about a five or six mile ice dam that you see behind me. Now the water's still flowing underneath, but if it's damming up the water enough, it's got nowhere else to go but up onto the banks, and it's causing a lot of flooding on the east and west banks of the Connecticut River. Lucky for us, as we speak, there's a Coast Guard cutter headed up the river right now to do some ice breaking operations and try and free some of this ice up and get the river flowing just like normal. All of this flooding is uh, good seasonally. We expect it in the spring when all the ice and snow melt. It's the reason why for hundreds of years, uh, the Connecticut River Valley has been so productive agriculturally. But this type of flooding around our man-made structures is stuff that we don't need. So maybe someday in the future, you guys could be out on one of the Coast Guard icebreakers, helping all of us out on the water and up here on land too. That's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Chris from the Stewart Outdoor School in Ivoryton, Connecticut. Make sure you guys tune in throughout the rest of the year as we bring you lots more videos with tons of cool observable phenomenon, fun stuff around campus, and all kinds of other educational content. Hope to see you around campus soon.